Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we will be discussing the latest fashion controversies surrounding the royal family. From subtle digs to unexpected fashion choices, the royals have been making headlines in the fashion world. Kate's Commonwealth costume might be a subliminal dig at Meghan given the tensions the designer has created. Early on in their relationship, the Princess of Wales and Meghan Markle reportedly quarreled about a clothes designer. The Princess of Wales attire for Monday's Commonwealth Day ceremony may have been a subliminal jab at Meghan Markle, her sister, in law given the two are rumored to have experienced tensions over one particular designer. Kate shows a stylish floral jacket and matching skirt by one of her favorite designers aired a Morelia glow for the occasion. There were rumors that Meghan and Kate were both admirers of Wordu's creations. Earlier this year, the Duchess of Sussex was passed over by Erdem according to a previous article in The Telegraph despite Meghan falling in love with his clothes while she was an actress. Kate reportedly received preference over her sister in law despite wearing the London based designer's clothing prior to entering royal life. Meghan is claimed to have yelled that Kate wasn't even queen after Kate was given the newest designs which apparently didn't sit well with the Sussexes. Not until March 2019, nearly a year after she had formally joined the royal family, did Meghan wear the designer in public. For the royal engagement, the former actress wore a specially created green coat dress. Early in 2016, the Duchess of Sussex wore a garment from his 2015 collection. Before meeting Prince Harry, Kate has long been a fan of the designer and wore an SS 18 mid cow fit and flare dress in 2018. Adam's designs are renowned for their unafraid use of patterns which has drawn some criticism. His designs have been labeled as shinsy by some at the service on Monday Prince William and the Princess of Wales both appeared to be in good spirits. Kate wore a pair of sapphire and diamond earrings that belonged to William's late mother Princess Diana to match with her. Chic blue dress the 41-year-old also displayed a beautiful brooch that the king had given her, despite the two eldest occasionally accompanying their parents at royal functions the prince and princess of Wales left the house without any of their kids. The newly appointed Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh as well as Princess and were present at the service on Monday. The poor look of Princess Kate vanishing. After serving the Commonwealth, the Princess of Wales attended the King's first Commonwealth Day service as monarch on Monday together with the rest of the royal family. A royal expert has said that the Princess of Wales being missing after the annual Commonwealth Day service is a terrible look. Royal Authority Danielle Elser noted in hernws.com that all other royals including Prince William and the newly appointed Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh trooped back to Buckingham Palace for the Commonwealth reception after the service which was held on Monday afternoon at Westminster. Abby nonetheless the mother of three was conspicuously absent from all the polite chit-chat despite an earlier press release stating in Ms. Elser's words that she will be attending Kate's absence was noted. She might have been picking up Prince George Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis from school according to current theories which have been put forth this. Seems improbable though given that the Wallace's employ a nanny while Kate's willingness to constantly run kids to school is wonderful, Ms. Elser continued. It does not erase the fact that her priorities in this situation are really quite incorrect. A video of the house reveals William and Kate's adorable nursery for George, Charlotte, and Louise. 
the beautiful nursery offers a tour of the children's favorite characters from Peter Rabbit to Beatrix Potter's Beloved. Children's Tales Characters from the most popular children's books have taken over the nursery that Prince William and the Princess of Wales have decorated in the cutest style. The royal couple who are parents to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis have always chosen creative solutions while attending to their demands. The royal couple relocated to Adelaide Cottage at the Windsor Home Park Estate in Berkshire in September 2022 from Apartment 1A in Kensington Palace there. Residence in London. A rare video that leaked online gave viewers a look of the space inside the new house. The pair apparently drew inspiration for the nursery's design from the beloved Beatrix Potter children's novels in 2013, before their first son Prince George was born. The couple chose neutral hues that would work for both baby boys and girls. They are reported to have decorated the space with Peter Rabbit and other well-known figures from the literature, like Jemima Puddle Duck and Mrs. Tiki Winkle. It is believed that the couple went with the same design firm Dragons of Walton Street in Knightsbridge, who created the nurseries for William, his brother Harry, and their cousins Beatrice and Eugenie. According to reports, the designer business specializes in handcrafted furniture that has Beatrix Potter characters painted on it. The prince and princess are thought to have relocated in order to offer their children more solitude and to be near Queen Elizabeth, you who sadly passed on the same month as their move. In 2016, George started his official education at West Acres Montessori School Nursery, which is close to the family's Norfolk home and were Howlott enrolled in Wilcox Nursery School in 2018 when she entered kindergarten because William and Kate had moved into apartment 1A at Kensington Palace in London in 2017, George continued his schooling at Thomas's school in Matursa. In 2019, Princess Charlotte joined him. Lewis started going to Wilcox Nursery in 2021 following in his sister's footsteps. But William and Kate relocated their young family to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor as soon as he was prepared to advance to the reception class. In September 2022, all three kids enrolled in Lambrook, a new school in Ascot. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of the royal family's fashion controversies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the latest royal news. Thank you for watching.